Hey guys, before I really start this video, I just want to say I'm sorry for all of this. I was not planning on making a video today. I'm sure you guys have already heard about it, you know, whether it's through Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is, but Zayn Malik has left One Direction. There are so many rumors going around about this right now, it's ridiculous. So I thought I'd give my two cents. First, I want to address One Direction's management. They have the worst management out of any artist or band that I have ever heard of. Simon Cowell's label owns the people who are assigned to them. They make them sit in a certain order, like they can't sit next to specific people. They never, pretty much never let Harry and Louis sit together anymore. There was literally one song on the Where We Are tour where they got to stand next to each other. And it really breaks my heart because they have hurt the boys in so many ways. I mean, of course, they also made their career. I'm surprised that Zayn was able to get out of One Direction in the first place. I mean, I have a few theories. I was originally kind of confused because I had thought that Zayn was the one who wanted to leave, which could still be true, but I'm not really sure about that. He would have had to buy his way out of all of those contracts or somehow find a loophole and modest management has so many contracts that the boys have had to sign. So I thought it was practically unbelievable that Zayn would be able to just up and leave. Maybe Zayn wasn't the one who wanted to leave. My first theory is that Zayn somehow was able to get out of the contracts that he has with Modest Management. I don't know how, maybe if you're paying them, finding a loophole, I'm not really sure. But I kind of doubt that because they have them under a lot of really strict contracts. Another theory that I have is that Zayn was kicked out of the group. I don't know why management for some reason did not want him in the group anymore. I think it could all be for attention. I was talking to a friend about this and she kind of came up with this theory and I think it's completely plausible. Back in October when Zayn was sick and had to take time off of the group, it could have just been a little test run to see how the fans would react without Zayn. And people still cared about One Direction and that everything that led up to this was just a huge plan by management. I know it sounds crazy and to anybody who's not familiar with how the music industry works or familiar with One Direction or Modest Management specifically, this might just sound like crazy conspiracy theories, but I really can put it past One Direction's management. I don't think it's a coincidence that just a week ago, a photo serviced of Louis and Zayn cheating on their girlfriends. Their management is so powerful, they can easily stop a picture from surfacing. So if they didn't want this picture to surface, they would have stopped it from surfacing, but they didn't. They let it happen because it's all a big plan. Everything that has happened is strategically done. Another reason why I think that this theory might be true is because Zayn hasn't posted anything himself. The only thing that has been posted was from management on the boys' Facebook page. Zayn has not tweeted, he has not posted anywhere about this himself. If Zayn is upset about not being in the band anymore, and if this wasn't his choice, it makes sense that he hasn't spoken about it. The third theory is that Zayn is leaving One Direction because he's a drug problem. Either Zayn decided that he needed help, or management decided that he needed help. And I'm not saying that management did this to be helpful to Zayn, because I don't think they give a shit about the boys' well-being. I'm saying it for whatever reason, they might have been the ones to boot him for it. Some people in this fandom are so naive and just delusional. How can you not see how sick Zayn looks? People are saying, oh, it's his religion, he's fasting. He's not fasting every day of the year. He's obviously doing drugs. You can tell from his face, from his body, from everything, that he looks weak. He looks sick. Now, there have been pictures and videos of him, you know, smoking weed, stuff like that. But I'm talking about like hardcore drugs, more like heroin, coke, things like that. You cannot tell me that Zayn is not doing drugs. If you are in denial, if you look at him and say, oh, he's just fasting, oh, he's just this, he's just that, he really needs help. He needs to get help for this. Honestly, if that's the reason why he's not in One Direction, because he's going to get help, then I am happy. Zayn's health and safety is so much more important than One Direction. The final theory that I think could be true is that One Direction's management is trying to ruin One Direction's career and reputation 
because their contract ends in 2016. Management doesn't want it to look like they're just letting them go and be free. They want to make it so no other management or record label will ever want to sign them. Their management already owns the rights to One Direction, you know, the entirety of it. After Modest is done with them, One Direction will be done. That's how they want it. They're going to destroy them. They want to make it so One Direction will be so destroyed that nobody can fix it. It sounds crazy and it sounds horrible, but I think it could be true. It could be true that Zayn just didn't want to be in One Direction anymore and that he's leaving to live a normal life. But the probability of that versus any of these other theories is so small. Conspiracy theories aside, the boys are unhappy. It's not hard to tell. Because of all the contracts that they're under, they can't do anything about this. I'm so tired of these like 13 year old girls on Twitter saying that, oh my gosh, Zane could never do any drugs. He is a perfect angel. He is my baby. He would never do that. Grow up. They are adults. You have to be seriously delusional if you can't see this by now. Everyone makes mistakes. Get over it. Just because they're your favorite doesn't mean that they're perfect. I hope Zayn is happy with whatever choices he makes. The only reason that I'm not really happy about this is because I don't know whether he wants this or not. And I don't know him personally, so I can't just ask him. But I'm not going to be forced to believe what management posts on their social media accounts. Because I don't believe them. Because they're horrible people. They don't care about anything but money and publicity. When I woke up this morning and checked my phone and saw that this was happening, I did not know what to do with myself. I'm still in denial that this happened. Like, I'm not going to be able to process this for a while. One Direction is not One Direction without Zayn. They can still be talented, they can still be good, but they're not going to be the same. I'm really upset that Zayn left, but I hope it's for the right reasons. What do you guys think about this? Make sure to leave me a comment down below with your theories and whether you believe management or not. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! Fuck Modest Management 2K15! Okay, bye!